Choppy's 260 that way. The other three dogs are. <laughs> the other three dogs are down there. <laughs> he just doesn't stop farting. Oh, fuck me, dead. Oh. <laughs> Every animal in that area will know we're here, I think, Stan. No, Shag, get in the shop, mate. Thank you. So, the boys have been down this gully here. I stay at the top trying to get some footage on the drone. And we've hunted this gully religiously since the forestry opened and we've taken a pig out every time, haven't we? Every time, mate. Yeah. Without fail. So what we said was we were going to keep hunting it till we didn't catch anything anymore. And we've got this thing where every time my son comes with me, we catch nothing. So today he came with us and today we caught nothing. <laughs> so I blame uh, Russ the boy in the back. Yeah, man. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you going? Adventure Dan. Yeah, how are you? We're actually still asleep, we just pretend to be awake. It's uh, very, very early. He's in the truck, get out, here you go. Yeah, good to meet you. Fine, Nathan. Mate. Nathan, yes. What's the status? Turn it right. Well, the frustrations of hunting. Poe, you're a good girl. She had a pig stop for, I don't know what lads, 10 minutes. Yeah. Easy, eh? Yeah. Up in here, hard out bale. Thick as bush. Nathan made a good job of getting through the thick stuff. He pushed up in front of us. Couldn't get Diego to it because it was just too thick. Bob was there, Liz was there, but it broke. Our first thought was a small pig and the dogs had killed it. No blood on the dogs, nothing at all. It's this, all it tells a story that there's been a good pig that had it stopped and it's got away. We wanted to get this big white dog to it, but. Uh, where we are today, the pigs are incredibly hard to stop. So we're heading away with these two what are you, Tasmanians. Yes. They're from the heart of Australia, the actual capital of Australia. Exactly. Yeah, so they've been telling me. They make me feel like a fucking hobbit, they're all so big. I mean, this guy on the back can hardly fit in there. Look at the size of me, his head's just about bouncing off the roof. Last night they turned up and uh, I started a bottle of whiskey and polished the best half of it off. So this morning was a bit of a slow start. I noticed you guys had a sleep in too. Yeah. You had a few. Cool. Uh, yeah, a few. We had a few. Yeah, we didn't have any dinner. Anyway, we'll stop the yak out. We're heading into just a local place, which there's not a lot of animals, but these guys are heading away to hunt tar. So I just thought it'd be a good uh, sort of pre-hunt warm-up, get legs going and uh, Get your rifle sorted. We've already just sighted them in and, and ironed out the teething problems. Shooting alright? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Should have bought the guitar, eh, boys? <laughs> We've got a tough old piece of boar meat in there with some onions and Winky's going to be our test guinea pig. The fry pan just fell out of the fire and onto the ground down there and then the candle wax went inside the grub as you can see it's fallen out <laughs> but Winky reckons he's going to be okay. She'll be fine. He's saying, aren't she be sweet ass bro? You have to tell us whether it tastes waxy or not. No, I'm So you're going to see her on your very uh, majestic plate. Taste waxy or not? No, sweet as. No, Bit of boar. Okay. Good. That looks like a sort of a a tiny snack for a big bastard like you. <laughs> looks like I'm not even gonna even touch the sides. No, that'll be fine. Okay. Barry's got fire going this morning. Making a cup of coffee. Bob, you go outside, you're not out in the hut. Outside. And it's raining outside. And it's been raining all night. It's set in. So, looks like our hunting trip sort of uh, a bit stuffed. Winky just leaving a bit of uh, firewood for the next happy camp as it comes through. Good on you, mate. It was nice to arrive to the hut and have it all there. Absolutely. 
Yeah, especially on a wet, cold night. These spur up here and behind there. There's always animals up there, but it's just not going to happen today. Too wet. Very dogs good. aren't impressed at all, are you dogs? No, not impressed. No. Even slightly. Seven months old is uh, fantastic. The ability, to, but what I've seen with hunting dogs uh, back in Tassie, and yep. what he's doing is magic clay. Come on, have a look at this, lads. Oh, well, okay. You get right up in there, mate. Swallows over here. Yep, we have from your country, thank you. Yeah. Australian swallow. That looks a lot like a swallow nest to me. So, Winky is saying he reckons this is a swallow nest, and I honestly haven't seen one like this before constructed of mud and pine needles inside this cave here, or this old mine shaft at least. So, if you think it's a swallow nest, let us know. Good training, eh? Good yes. training for that tar country. Good training for my Tasmanian buddies before they go into the steep alpine stuff. I'll show you guys another mine shaft here. It's a bit better one. Yep, well, we nest there. I Boy. couldn't go in there and then go back to work in the boys. So that's unsupported ground. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's not the First dumb thing I've done, and it won't be the last no. either. Yeah, I've actually slept in those before. Yeah, that'd be safe as a church. But uh, you can't do it for your job. Matt's, no. a, Matt's a miner. What do you do exactly in your job? What's your job exactly? I'm a production driller. Oh, I yeah? drill all the blast holes for the stoke farm. Okay. Danger. Chromite mine. Danger. Unsupported mine drive and mine workings in this area. We advise against entry. The maintained track stops here. We're going to carry on around. Oh well, you're 100% right there, Winky. Shouldn't have gone into it. Well, if I'd been carrying my rifle then, we might have had some meat. Winky ranged it at 137 metres. That's in metres or yards, mate? Metres. Metres, yep. Yeah. Straight down here, stag. Wasn't in a good neck, pretty skinny actually. Four pointer, oh, a scrubby four. Might have had a couple of small, might have been a six, but it just came out and I think the dogs had lifted it further down and it stopped in these pines down here. Momentarily for a while, I could have squeezed a shot if I had a rifle in my hand. They were behind me a wee way, but they wouldn't have got their gun out in time anyway. It was gone by the time we got back. The pigs have been to this bit of pineish radiata. It's rotting as it breaks down. They can get into the hoo-hoo grubs living in there. These holes here are made by the grubs which eat right through it. This isn't real fresh, but it's not real old either. Might have been last night, perhaps. Just back at the truck here. What's been just a nice short walk for us, for the dogs, has been a bloody big walk. Did you have a good time, mate? We had a fat old time. Yeah. Absolutely awesome. Yep. How's your legs, all right? Very good, yes. Yeah, they're going good. Hey, um, they've given me a present. They bought me something back. It's in this box here. I think you know what it is. Before I crank it open, tell me a little bit about it there, uh, Winky. We, uh, we watched a clip where um, Clay took a young guy out. But, um, I you know, never had a father, all that kind of jazz, and he um, took him away hunting, and we thought, well, this guy needs to learn how to shoot. He learns to, needs to learn his firearm safety, um, and yeah, he needs to get his first kill. So uh, Barry and I and our other mate Vern, he's flying over today. We, um, we shot an email through to MJ at Gun City, and. Um, yeah, MJ helped us out with 
we are getting Clay a, a new 22 rifle. So this came from where? Where'd you buy it? Uh, Gun City in Christchurch. Happy days, look at this guys. What model is it? That's uh, a Marinko 22. So this has been provided from you? Yep. And you? Barry and Vern yes. Bennett. And Vern Bennett and also Gun City have contributed as well? Yeah, MJ Gun City give us a good deal. Okay. Um, well, based on that, uh, I will be buying my stuff now from Gun City. And that's quite a lot of stuff because anybody that supports this particular young guy that uh, Winky's talking about is Jordan. Jordan has a life threatening disease. He's uh, always fighting a good battle. I actually send him personal vlogs and he sends me a few back too when I'm lucky. So, what we're going to do with this, guys, rather than just me keep it. Jordan, you'll be watching this mate, this is your rifle now. Now you're too young to have it, so it's going to stay in my care until you're legally old enough to have your firearms license. So you can look forward to owning this one day bud. We'll let a few other young shavers use it, because that's what you bought it for. Yep. But it's going to belong to you Jordan, it's in your name. Is that you guys okay with that? Fine, Okay, so there you go mate, you just scored yourself a nice 22. you have to take someone out and shoot a rabbit or something with it and see how it goes. It feels nice, eh? Mm. Yeah, so thank you very much. Thank you guys. No worries, man. Right. Yeah. Sure. yeah, thanks, and uh, good to meet you too. Yeah. <laughs> hey? Thanks for a good trip. Yeah, it was a cracker, eh? Yes, it was. Yeah, we've been in the scrub two days, had a really good time, and um, they're on the road now, aren't you? Yeah, down to Christchurch and then on to French Station. Gonna try and knock over a tar. Hopefully. Okay, all right, lads, we'll have a safe trip. Be good. You can't be good. Be careful. Thanks, Craig. For well, those guys that had an awesome time, but what a great gift, eh? Give me a bloody rifle. It's a side for young Jordan. I imagine when I was 10 years old, if I had something like that, the old would have been over the moon, so he's gonna love that.